Hello. I've done the right thing today. I've done the right thing. I haven't launched the game yet. Because we've narrowed down what the fu- We know what the problem is now. We can't fix it. But we know what the problem is. So I'm now going to launch the game. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, hi. Basically, some component of my stream deck, when I press the main slide button, like the main scene button, crashes the game. Disconcerting menu lady time. See, I restricted it, right? I held off. You didn't get that while I was launching. That's personal growth. And here we are. And there she is. I haven't and the seen cat's you for a while. It's good to have you back. It's happening. First 10. Vulcan Ryan is quickly catching up with you, Sky. You need to be careful. Dolly Whiskers with the third. Hello. Do I have any? I feel like I want to start. I, I feel like I, I'm enjoying the weird little anecdotes I sometimes do at the beginning of streams before I say anything. And I'm like, I don't have anything interesting to say today. I went to a film shoot with work and I had to sit in the background and be like present because it was for like a Christmas, it was for like a Christmas video and I just needed to be a person that was in the background. That was a very strange way to spend my morning because I don't usually do that. That was very odd. I was like, they, 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 we arrived and they passed out a glass of wine at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I was sort of like, I'm, I'm, I don't drink. Oh, do you want something else? Yes. Oh, well, we didn't really think that through. These are, yeah, either, either way. I went to a, I went to a film shoot and I was background, so... You'll never see. You'll never see it. You, you'll never see it. I'm never going to show it to you, but it's there, or will be eventually. Um, what else? I tried. So. By the way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? You can also see the choices made by other players there. We tried Dolly Whiskers. I found it pretty show worthy. You should share it. Wait, what are we talking about? You did not. You did not. You did not find it. You did not shush i didn't i've not drunk hasn't seen it that's a lie and that's a lie that's scooby-doo are you looking at scooby-doo no you're looking at something over there no you're looking directly at the treats i know what your game is i was there live you were not you were not i had a nice wine glass full of water and a cinnamon pastry that was basically we concluded left over from breakfast did you see an opossum in the room? No. We don't. I feel like. I feel like seeing an opossum. Considering we don't get opossums in this country, the fact that if I'd seen one, a lot more people than just me would have been reacting. So, how do you know I wasn't there? I could smell you. If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. Stop creaking me out. That's Dang a quote it. from Martin Luther King. Um, I thought you'd like it. We did, however. And I will say, and this is possibly if they would love to sponsor me, that would be absolutely fantastic. Dolly Whiskers has been, we like to, we watch our budget very carefully, right? And everybody in my community knows I'm a big, I'm a big uh, monster energy drinker. And today for the first time, I tried Sneak Energy, which is one of the powders that you put in a shaker and you shake it. And it was blue raspberry flavored and it was delicious. So I'm just putting it out there. If they ever want to sponsor me, please do that. As a as a frequent energy drink, energy like consumer, consumer, they do like a coffee select, like a latte selection, like a like a milkshakey selection, a hydrate selection with no caffeine, and then a caffeine based thing. And I can comfortably drink two of those and it not be like outrageous. So sneak energy, actually pretty good. Um, do I have anything else? No, that's literally it. I went to a film shoot and I drank some sneak energy drink. My life! Holy shit! I'm living the high life right now. I'm I'm just out here playing video games on the internet and drinking energy-based beverages. Um, it's a good time. Sneakenergy.com. Sponsor, not sponsor. I'm not being sponsored by If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. All the way down. All the way down. Go on. I remember there being a big drama with them recently, but not in the like, not in like the biblical sense. There was something about, there was something about 
them pulling out of supporting various influence. I don't, I, I don't know. Either way, they're never going to sponsor me. But it's delicious. I had blue raspberry flavored and it was pretty good. Been playing Fortnite the last hour, but I woke up at 2.30. What time is it there? Wait, what time is it there right now? I have lost all basis of comparison. Are you six hours before me? I can't remember, Benna. Okay, Pot Frog, four o'clock. Pot Frog, yeah, Pot Frog is here. Four o'clock, it's 4 p.m. Oh, you've been up for two hours, is what you're trying to say. You've been up for two hours ish, is what you're trying to say. I mean, I wish I could sleep. I, I miss. Did you know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? A route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War. I didn't know that, but I feel like you've told me that before. Congratulations, Dolly Whiskers, on the first. Congratulations, Vulcan Ryan, on the official first. Basically, if my mods are going to claim first every single time, the official one is the one I gift to the person that speaks first in chat. So, like, Dolly Whiskers and Sky Alakar can have their fun, and I will give whoever speaks first a point. And uh, we'll just work it with that for the time being until what? Until somebody overthrows Sky. Because somebody has to overthrow Sky. I have faith in Kara and Vulcan Ryan right now. If anybody wants to come back, it's going to take a fair amount. Considering how high they are at this point, it's going to take a fair amount. But Vulcan Ryan and Happily Ever Kara, you are the hero we deserve. Moving on. Dolly Whiskers, hello. Vulcan Ryan, welcome back, obviously. Cursed Pineapple in the house. Joined at 32 seconds and still missed it. You... You basically need magical powers at this point. I will take this opportunity to say all of my mods are under strict instructions only to go by the Discord notification. So if you receive the Discord notification, you have a chance of getting it. You just need to be quick. I, they're, cra they're crazy good. The schedule is the schedule as well, so you can sometimes game it that way. I have, I have, before anybody goes back to how people were gaming this previously, I have been invisible on Steam for about 60 years. Um, nobody who is my, on my friends list and in the community can see when I go live based off the game that I'm playing. I hid that as soon as I discovered that Kara and Ryan were cheating. Today. I hope you're doing okay. Can she see me? That was creepy. That was a weird one. We've not had that before. Vulcan Ryan with the 100 stream streak. Holy shit. I think Ryan is 100% leading the pack with stream streaks right now. And thank you, everybody, for all of the contributions. You will have seen that the channel point redeem has reset. There is another community challenge running um, at the end of the month that will be refunded. It's all about saving channel points. It's all about planning your month. So, so like theoretically one day somebody will hit a million and be able to make me stream every day for 30 days that's currently the plan drunk degenerates i've already engaged with you directly but if it isn't my favorite chimkin also have no friends my gaming date is soon so i'll lurky drunk degenerates a gaming date never never have these words been more important but i hope you score on your gaming date it works on so many levels um, moving on. Sky Alcar, hello, Cursed Pineapple again. Benaboo. Uh, Benaboo. It's always nice to see you in chat, Benner. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, Ziggy Z, Pop Frog. Did ATM you know Tuesday morning here. I wish I was still asleep. We hope for better things. Wait, 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 wait. In the afternoon, yup, that midterm killed me. I cried, jumped with joy, and I crashed after part one of midterm, 80% of two grades pending. Yeesh. I'm so far away, the message takes longer to get here. You need to relocate. You need to really dedicate yourself. You need to really dedicate yourself to this random person you know on the internet, Curse. And you need to move to France. Because I am totally French. Like, can you tell based off my accent that I am totally French? I'm not French. Bonjour. J'adore le petit pompe-mousse. Je suis le great... No. Je suis le... Cauliflower. I, 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 I. Mm. Oh, mais oui. J'adore le petit pompe mousse. Jura. Thank you for the contribution. Before... By the way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? Did you know, chat? Did you, you can know? also see the choices made by other players there. She needs a toggle switch. I'm just putting it out there. She needs a toggle switch. The cat is back already. It has been 15 minutes. What is happening right now? Come on. Come up here. 
Because I'm not starting the game and having you jump up on the desk. Not going to do it. He's looking at me forlornly. Friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people in possession of souls. We are back. He's coming. He's, there he is. Second visit within 15 minutes. He's trying to set some sort of record. Uh, the sooner you get through all of these treats, the less treats you get. You should be able to, like, I teach I teach chat, right, about saving channel points on a monthly basis. This cat, at this point, should have learned, like, planning through osmosis. He should be, like, holding off on these treats throughout the two hours. Otherwise, he gets them all at once and then doesn't have any treats the rest of the stream. What's that about? How do you... It's very nice. Yeah, it's very good. Um, friends and enemies, uh, uh, friend, I can't speak. Friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people in possession of souls. We are back with Detroit to become human. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a bit finicky and a bit crashy sometimes. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once, like in Detroit. Is this game watching me today? Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? He doesn't seem familiar. Scooby Scat snacks for George today. They are like little cheese, like dreamy square things. They're like cheese flavored dreamies. But he's, he's, okay, now get down because you're, you're not hanging out here for more treats. Go on, go on, be away with you. My sister said you need to teach him a new trick. I don't know any other tricks to teach him. I was trying, all joking aside, I was trying to teach that cat to play piano. I said he should read some short stories. I was trying to teach that cat piano. Do you want to see if we can get him to play piano? Because it's not as weird as it sounds. I have a tiny cat-sized piano. Um, Like, I have a tiny cat-sized piano. Of all people, you shouldn't be surprised by this. Of all people that would own a cat-sized piano, are you really surprised that it's me? How about spinning in a circle? I have this playing on my TV and my Look cat's in my room today. on my bed just staring at the TV so both my boys say okay. hello. You know what I say? You know what I say, chat? Okay, Google, turn off the lights. And then we move on. Um, friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people who are in possession of souls, we are back with Detroit to become human. Absolutely loving this game. There's drama. There's excitement. There's sleeping in cars. There's pulling ourselves back together in a junk heap. It's it's fun for the whole family. It's 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 fun for the whole family. So quick update: last time on stream, the shit hit the fan basically for every single character. Connor was the least exciting because Connor went to a crime scene with his new with his new police friend and found a deviant and took them back and interrogated them. And we got a little bit of insight to him because he's like the most developed android around like he's 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 super high tech but through his interrogation and through his integration inter interactions with the various humans and their various policemen he did have a little red circle a couple of times on his thing so he seems to be doubting himself meanwhile Kara. by the way did you know that you can review your just story go... progress in the story chart section i'm in the options now she should be you can also see the choices made by other players there I'm in the options now. She shouldn't be able to speak. Um, Kara, the maid droid, um, was as freaking traumatic as we all expected. Um, Kara had been uh, retrieved from a repair shop by Todd, who was a bit of a bastard. Um, she was taken home and basically instructed to clean the house. The house was a trash heap. Todd, who is in charge of his small daughter, um, would drink and take drugs and generally get belligerent it all uh like grew to a fever pitch and uh there was an attack uh todd was gonna beat up the daughter kara broke her programming protected the daughter fled the house we didn't hurt todd we beat the shit out of him like he was bleeding but we didn't kill him and we ran and i'm wondering if death could have been a potential but kara and alice ran um, they, we attempted to find somewhere for them to sleep, having fled onto a bus. Um, they ended up somewhere downtown. Um, there were a couple of options. There was like a motel, a squat, uh, wrecked car. Um, we went into a shop to try and rob some money 
or like get a pair of bolt cutters to enter the squat. I got the bolt cutters and I could have left, but I tried to pick up a cuddly toy to give the, to get, to give to Alice, and the shopkeep caught me and took it back and then whisked me away. Um, so we lost the ability to get into the squat or rob the place because we couldn't re return to the shop to get the money to stay in the motel. So we ended up sleeping rough in a car, but we did steal some clothes from a laundrette so we the the characters were at least warm i'm not entirely sure uh if that's gonna come back to bite me on the ass because part of me wonders if alice is gonna like get sick as a small child on the run with a robot that doesn't feel like temperature or concern i don't know i'm very i don't know um lucas marcus the other one marcus 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 the other one the pretty boy um he returned home with his artist owner and discovered that somebody had broken into the gallery um the one from gray's anatomy yeah um marcus yes um i keep wanting to call him lucas and it's stuck in my brain that way uh marcus returned home with his artist friend um they discovered that somebody had broken into their gallery it was the artist friend's son the artist friend has an altercation with the old artist man the artist man collapsed and died on the floor marcus was obviously distraught um broke programming was going to try and sort of like wrestle with the son who was trying to steal some artworks to sell we assume for drugs um, but the police broke in at that point. Mark, uh, the son blamed Marcus for the death of the artist and was uh, promptly shot. Uh, we return to Marcus in pieces, effectively, in a junkyard. Um, he goes through various um, trials to get, like, replace his legs, one of his eyes, and, like, a pump from his chest. And as he's putting these things back into his body, he starts to function properly and his skin sort of like heals over the top of him because there's like a robot skeleton under these androids and then there's like a projection of whatever sits on top. And as they're sort of functioning properly and everything's circulating, it's sort of, they sort of self-heal. Um, and he ran off into the night. Um, all three characters, or at least all three characters, it was hinted at that there's some sort of... I want to say underground android resistance, but I'm not sure if that's the correct term. Basically, Kara bumped into a bin man that told her about finding, I think, somebody called Jericho, um, which was fine. Marcus in the junkyard was told to go and find somebody similar. I don't think Connor was informed, but he was in an interrogation and it was sort of implied that the i think it was sort of implied that the robot that they were interrogating the android that they were interrogating um had some sort of knowledge of somebody that was out there helping androids like him and that's it that's all caught up i've got like i've got like seven minutes before this becomes a concerningly long intro um my community celebrates achievements. If you have achieved anything big or small since the last time we spoke, I would love to hear about it. I would love to tell you how proud I am of you. So if you want to do that, drop that in chat. My achievement for the day, because I've not, I don't always read out an achievement for myself. My achievement for the day. I took a lunch break. Not that I don't do that on a regular basis, but sometimes there's a little bit of like crossover with the work that I do where I'm at my desk during my lunch break and I just pick stuff up and start working through. I went, I did my entire lunch break. I did my entire lunch break front to back without any like crossover and I should do that more often. I will hold my hands up and say rest is important. I should do that more often. Um, and when I say I, there's crossover, I'm like eating my lunch and doing a little bit of work. Um, but at the same time, sometimes I eat my lunch and do stream stuff. Like I'm right, like writing or like looking at stuff on, and how stuff's going. And I don't, it's, it's really difficult having a lunch break and then not leaving your desk because there's not really anywhere for me to go other than walking and where I'm like, I don't know. I'm proud and impressed. I'm a culprit of working through my lunch. It's like a balance that I struggle with constantly, Cursed, and I'm trying better. I'm doing better, or at least I'm trying better. And I had my one and only bacon and egg sandwich this week, because last week was my first week back in the office after COVID, and I ate bacon and egg sandwiches every single day to sort of get me through the struggle. And 
I'm back to my usual operating, not not 100%, but I'm going to try and be good this week. I've had my one bacon and egg sandwich, and the rest of the week, it's breakfast cereal for lunch. And as bad as that sounds, I actually really enjoy breakfast cereal for lunch. And I've got a tiny little, I've got like a tiny little um, flask that I put milk in and I take to work with me and I and like I pour it in a bowl and I eat some cereal at my desk. It's it's very wholesome. It's very good. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're all caught up. I'm going to play some video games. Toto Chip, welcome in and thank you for the contribution. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, everybody go grab yourself a drink because this game is pretty cinematic and we'll just see how things go. I need to mentally prepare myself for QTEs in this because I'm so not familiar with it in... I'm so not used to the QTE events in... Quick time events in... on mouse and keyboard. Okay. We'll try. We'll do it. We'll do our best. Your parameters have been saved. Thank you. We're off. We're off, chat. You and me together. Let's go on an adventure. Also, uh, Hot Frog. It's a frog in a pot, everybody. Uh, I can also, I can also do this. Large pot frog. Wah! That's it. That's that's literal. I've got those. Should be the other way around. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that big pot frog. Wah! Okay, sorry. Let's move on. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. Um, can I rummage through anything before I go? Joint Chiefs of Staff. I thought that was a picture of Barack Obama then. Do your part in list today, don't cross the line. It is a chim, it is a voided main. It is a time lord. I hope you're doing okay. Oh my god, so many things to touch with my hands. How's it going, Void? How's it going, Time Lord? Hope you're having a wonderful time today. Yo, Miller. I need to locate Anderson's desk. Is this all this is? Is this looking at people's desks? Pierre Wilson? This isn't very exciting. That one doesn't even have a name on it! Lieutenant Anderson. You and you. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Just gonna sit down and chill out. I'm pretty sure this guy is evil. But I feel sorry for him. I'm existing with my mental health. How are you? I am feeling a bit better after everything that's been going on the last couple of weeks. I'm coughing less. I'm very tired. But I've got like, where I've been coughing, my sides hurt. And it's it's all just a bit drudgy, if that makes sense. Like a bit of a drudge.
Dark Heavy Metal, Knights of the Black Death. Wonderful. Anti-Android slogans, use your brain, not your Android. Android free space, we don't bleed the same color. No more Androids. So, I don't think Lieutenant Anderson is... I think he's a bit... Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of up to $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as a model investigative as model investigative police work uh becoming the youngest lieutenant on the detroit police force lieutenant hank anderson was a among the most decorated detectives in dpd's recent history securing numbers of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force captain fowler said the promotion was long overdue describing anderson as among the most talented police i've ever worked with the new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner Nearly a ton of red eyes discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson. So what happened? Because why is he now like a surly police detective? Red Ice Task Force, multiple department unit responsible for red eyes dis uh, network dismantlement. I mean, it's a lot of... I feel like I recognize, like, all of these people have components of their faces that I recognize from, like, popular TV shows. And I don't, I don't know if that's my brain or Jimmy's bar matches. That's the bar that we met him at at the beginning of the game. Uh, canine hairs, St. Bernard. He's got a St. Bernard, I guess. Overly saturated in fat donuts. Carbohydrates and calories, bad. Japanese maple. What is this a clue for? Asian shing. Asian. Shishigashira Shohin. Shishigashira Shohin. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. Cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Oh my god, has Sky Alucard been here? I mean, in, in Sky's defense, they would never let coffee go cold. Great basketball, cotton 92%. Or they shouldn't, anyway. We're done. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. Hello. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Lieutenant, <coughs> listen. Explore the office. Part of me wants to explore. I drink cold coffee. Like, do you drink iced coffee or cold coffee? Because I feel like there's a difference. Do I go in there or continue to explore? Uh, go see the Deviant, explore the police station. Both? Okay, well, I'll go explore. Old, like, coffee that stood around for hours. That's weird. Like, if you put ice in it, fine, but cold coffee sounds strange to me. Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Hello, my name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey. 
Bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what a di- what? Just if why? If I hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. He's such a douchebag. <laughs> Shut up and drink your tea. It's not intentional, but I do not mind. It's all the same to me. Do you drink very sweet coffee? Do you, very, do you drink very milky sweet coffee? Several sources report that I can't imagine drinking cold Detroit black coffee is pleasant, but I don't like. Android. I don't particularly Although like coffee. police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. The first book written by an artificial okay. intelligence has just been published. Yes, yes, conjuring black coffee is too bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the line for me. I'm bet maybe if it was milky and very sweet. Watching CANO or something. Oxman's hi. Welcome in. I am rummaging through a police station. I am allowed to. Like, I'm not like here illegally. Like it's a thing. Observation room. Is this it? Oh, that's the police fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's a good thing I didn't accidentally go into the other room. You played the game before? No, never. I know literally nothing. I've made some assumptions, but I know nothing about the outcome and so on. Damn lucky. I literally have avoided spoilers for it. I don't know. Hello? I don't know, based off what I've played so far, how good it would be if I had. What are you looking at? I mean, I'm enticed currently. Spoiler, Chim is cool. Nets is pretty okay, I will say. We are a spoiler-free zone, so keep that in mind, please, everyone. It wouldn't be a powerful story if it was a movie, but it's a good story for a game. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My hands are working as if controlled by... Controlled by magic. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 no. Go follow Nats. They're coming back from their weird little, like, drug-induced hype-up for... Um, Dragon Age Veilguard soon, like tomorrow, and they're going to be playing Bloodborne, and they're going to be uh, playing a video game loosely based on their life called Trash Goblin. I mean, sort of drug-induced, like you admit it, you're a little bit addicted to it. Like, drug-adjacent. Like, some people smoke weed, right? Nats plays Veilguard, and I, I, there's a, there's a connection in my brain there for some reason. That's the, it's, it's, a, it, yeah, I'll have you know I'm playing Metaphor right now. Oh, oh, so another big popular exceedingly, so fuck you. Another exceedingly, it's because the new, can, can I, can I, can you, can you just, can you, can, can you confirm something for me? Just a yes or no answer. Are you playing Metaphor because the new game plus DLC for Veilguard isn't available to you yet? <laughs> That's a yes. I win. They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. I take that as a compliment, man. I'm going to die.
deviant non-responsive. Can I let him out? Can I just unleash him? No, I can't. How are you feeling today, buddy? Um, ooh. Ooh. Open the cell, quick. Hurry. Um. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Um. Can I touch his body, please? In a completely non-weird way. Can I touch his body? Sir? Sir, I need to touch him for evidence. Um, how are you feeling today? I am coughing a bit less. I am very tired. Like, I am, I am, I am, I am spent. But, my, like, I think it's where I've been coughing so much, my ribs hurt. But I'm getting there. It's just, it's been like three weeks and I'm kind of, I'm kind of ironically sick of it. At least you're recovering, that's a good sign. Yeah, my, I live in... I dealt with a certain amount of personal fear that I was going to be in trouble, but it seems like touch wood. Hey. I'm not going to be. Samples yet. It's an honor to be working with Lab you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Maybe they're trying to... Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. We really need the forensics. I think he's evil. I still think Connor's evil. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've played him a little bit. Like he is going to be. I feel like I've played him in a way, sort of inadvertently, without really planning on it. I have this, I have this weird underlying feeling that I've played him really nicely and he could have been a bastard. And I can't get past this idea that I keep leading him into compassionate scenarios when originally he would have just been there cold and been like the worst possible of the three characters, like maybe the antithesis of the other two, sort of being like... <laughs> Like, I feel, I feel like we had Vulcan Ryan yesterday. I mean, Void did it, so we'll, we'll, do, we'll do, yeah, Void, there we go. Um, I feel like I have accidentally led Connor into a compassionate sort of, like, route, which I'm very happy with. But I feel like, considering how the game opens, he could have ended up being a character that was chasing after the other two characters. I don't know. And it will probably require multiple playthroughs. I, I, we'll find out. Well, see, he walks like he shat his pants. Uh, dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. That's a good dog's name. Uh, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. He would, like, he's so cute. I just, I feel... This is... Imagine, right, that as a person I want to get to... So, Nets, Nets, Nets. Like, as a person I want to get to know you. In what world would there ever be a realistic situation where I come out... Oh, do you listen to this very specific band? Like, no. Oh, 
Do you have a dog? There's hairs on your chair. That comes across so it's the autism. I. He makes me so uncomfortable. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Well, I've I've gone up twice and down twice, so I, this conversation has done literally nothing. Uh, have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? You know, you can also just start working. No, I just, I want to exhaust all conversation. I, I really want him to hate me a little bit. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. He's a wizard, Connor. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Today's file. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of breaking in the apartment. The android may have left home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 model android working as a waiter in the fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff manager of the, the the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported that the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model WR four hundred, the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Uh, Leo Manfred, that's that's our friend, that's our friend, that's our friend. Uh, famous painter Carl Manfred uh, was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement attests to the android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype, uh, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Shot repeatedly and then stitched back together. Knock yourself out and he just punches himself in the foot. It's technically a command. Yeah. And then we're looping. Uh, that's Kara, aggression, Todd Williams. The plaintiff claims he, vi he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android has just returned from being repaired the previous day and showed signs of aggressions in the past. So Todd is lying to the police. That means he's, it's... Scan all files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our No, leave Kara alone. understand you're facing personal issues lieutenant but you need to move past them and hey don't talk to me like you know me i'm not your friend and i don't need your advice okay i've been assigned this mission lieutenant i didn't come here to wait until you feel like working Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. 
It's been seen in the Raven. I don't think he likes me. I'm on it. This all drags these vi uh, those violence reports into question since we know Kara and Marx's his actual context. It does. Well, Todd was always going to lie because he got beat up. Like, Todd, I, I can't... Hank got a lead. Hank is mad. Oh, there was only one outcome of that entire section. That was always going to lead to Hank being mad at me. It could have gone one way or the other, but Hank was always going to be mad at some point. Which is interesting. Um, Todd was always going to lie about Kara. And, well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't throw it into quite. It doesn't throw it. We know exactly. We know it's lie. We know it's lies, right? Todd was always going to lie about Kara. And Leo, the son of the artist guy, was always going to lie about Marcus. It was, it was, I think it was kind of inevitable. I don't, I don't see how it's going to resolve itself, though. Note, note, one thing, very quickly, one thing the robot was reported as missing or, or as having been violent didn't mention the child that it seemingly kidnapped Check the neighborhood? What are we checking the neighborhood for? Death to Android. Okay, well, lovely. And you slept here. Good plan. And your parents cut hair. Can I go back and rob the store again for a pair of scissors? I thought that was an interactable bit. Oh, no, there's a pair of scissors. Universe, it's the universal woman with long hair cutting their hair short in a video game. Suddenly, pixie cut. Um. No, don't like the black. It started off as brown. We're going blonde for the inconspicuousness because nobody, you know, nobody will look at a blonde. Oh, and she's removing it too. I wish I could do that. Marcus did that as well. Now she just looks like a lady. So I suppose androids are never going to be programmed to remove that themselves, so that makes her more... That makes her more... Um, what's the word? Invisible. I wish I could do that. I can do that. Do you want me to prove it? Because I won't. There's a lot more people around this morning. Inconspicuous. We 
Did you say you were? Oh. Wake up, Alice. Escape the district. <coughs> oh, Alice! I swear to God, if that child's dead. Is this gonna turn into a. Is she got. Is she sick? Alice. Wake up, Alice. It wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It said Alice warm feel? at the start of the scene. I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. <coughs> The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. I mean, I can't tell if she's trauma ridden or ill. Hungry? You're pretty like that. Why not both? You really look like a human now. I should never be in charge of an actual child. Just saying. Are you hungry? Do you need hydration? How about sleep? The police are on our trail. <coughs> That's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. If the kid wanted they something to drink, they would have used the hydration redeem. <laughs> All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. same area danger level are those increasing this time no don't cross the road while the light's red do not cross the road while the light's red that's how you you'll get done for jaywalking i've seen this on tv I know how America works. You've all, you're all really addicted to the concept of jaywalking. What is that arrow? I don't quite understand what that arrow... Oh, it's pointing to the crossing. Okay. Stop. Quick, call it in. 
We saw them headed for the train station. And now I don't want to go! Connor, just let them leave! <laughs> I don't want this to happen! Lock in for some kill ticket. I don't want Connor, no! And there's an ad in 30 seconds! They're over there! I'll just wait. I just yeah, let them leave. Yeah, let them leave. Oh, I got caught in a I got caught in some rubbish. Oh oh no. Don't shoot, we need it alive. There's an ad break. I'll be back in three minutes. This game breaks my this game breaks my uh, BRB screen if I go to BRB. So I'm gonna load my PNG tuber. I will be back in three minutes when the ads are over. Um, I love you all. Uh, go grab yourself a drink. Go grab yourself a snack. Hug a loved one. Sniff a blood and family animal. See you in a minute. Hello, I'm Chimkin. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so Sanguine, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Um the 
BRB screen breaks my uh, the the BRB screen breaks when I play this game. It just it just straight up crashes. Um, so I'm avoiding it while I'm playing it. But still, hi. Would you like to? I've got because you like you like these, right? I I I think you like when you get to see these. So look look over there. Dooby doo. You wave. <sighs> Wait, I need Anyway. Um yeah, welcome back. Sanguine, glad that you had a good day. Pick your feet up, happily have a car. Uh... Oh fuck! That's insane. Control she's trying to press. I don't understand what button that is. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Are you? She just got hit by several cars. And he's like, they, yeah, this, holy fuck. That went so wrong after I accidentally, f I, f I foobarred the freaking, it was the umbrella, wasn't it? I tried to get the, I tried to pick up the umbrella and screwed it up. Where was the umbrella? I tried to pick up an umbrella and just, just, just fucked it up. Why is all this? There's an entire subsection. Okay. I've not seen the beard in ages. How you doing? Mr. Wizard. I'm all right. I am post viral something something. Coughing is getting better. Just tired. Ribs hurt. Or being spotted by police. It's a different storyline depending on where you spent the night. Oh, that does make that makes more sense, actually, doesn't it? Because if I'd slept in like the motel, I would have been down there. So that's so that's the that's the parking lot. That's the squat. That's the hotel or something so I understand. I understand. Interesting, because there's a lot more, like, police don't have a lead. Da, 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 da. There are so many items on that list there that is just crazy. Where would I have slept? I'm wondering what one then was the safest, because this one seems to go all the way up to... Okay, either way, we'll find out. Uh, holy shit, what a network. Wizard, Wiznard, Wiznard. Yeah, Wiznard. How's it going, Wiznard? Hope you're okay as well. Benaru, Benaboo. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of Meanwhile, handsome man is back. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. We are now approaching Ferndale Station. Please take care of stepping onto the platform. Customers are reminded that all androids must ride in the designated area. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. the group. 
graffiti. Is that not the graffiti right there? Am I they not? Missed her. Am I not looking Should at? There's the some change. I'm confused. Is this not the graffiti right behind me? Is that not it? What does it want me to do? I know. It's crazy, right? <coughs> so updated. Oh, okay. I get it. 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 Do I have any change that I can give this man? I don't. on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden with miles of unspoiled. Nature Canada is the true leader of the free President Warren to make vi state visit to the United Kingdom. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews flushed out a felony fugitive. But this fugitive with a di was a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Uh, eyewitness statements are inconclusive and with no official report it is impossible to say for sure what really happened but local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No Cyber Life spokesperson was available for comment and the speculation looks set to continue. Uh, Android astronauts to explore IO. NASA sends Android crew into space. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore IO, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first Androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that Androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on IO for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. That's a bit... They're sentient. I'm... The moral... The moral shit that keeps coming up in this game... I want, I want everybody to be nice to each other and be kind to the sexy robots. Stupid sexy robots. Hey. Sorry. Excuse me. Well, he clearly just robbed me. <coughs> Are we really going to get rid of Mandy? That felt like a pickpocketing. Grandma says it leaves her with nothing. One symbol. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two symbols. Ah, ah. But she's so cool. Barbed wire fence. Oh, am I just heading in a random direction? Pick a, pick a, pick a direction. Does it want me to speak to that android? Do you know where Jericho is? No, he does not. She does not. 
Okay. I need some barbed wire fence and a... I need some... Barbed wire fence. I feel very at sea all of a sudden. Antic games. Oh! I found it! I found the barbed wire fence. Um. Aha! Who updated? Tiny robot through a chain link fence. To clarify, it's not on the left there. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to assume it we're going in this direction, because it. I'm not sure if it's meant to be leading me somewhere, but it feels like it is. Tiny robot? Yeah, tiny robot. I see you. Tiny robot. Tiny robot. If I was another symbol, where would I be, though? Is there another symbol there that I just can't see? There it is. How do I... Sir, that is breaking and entering. New symbol. Got that one, got that one, scan that one. Uh, a face with a window. I mean, that one was easy. It's over there. And a shark. Penguin Queen Lucy. How's it going? Find a way to reach the roof. Um, guess what I got today? Um, cheese. Um, I don't know. I'm bad at this. Satellite television. Satisfactory. <laughs> I have quit that game temporarily while my brain recovers from covid because holy shit i got to a point where it was getting super complicated and i i went back when i probably shouldn't have and had to stop but i will return it's all your fault i mean i'll take that that's that's you know uh it's it's a, it's always a compliment for somebody to come in and tell me i've actually influenced them like an influencer it's given me multiple headaches i just i tried to play it with covid i i looked at it and was like i can't i i don't know what i like i've had no problems with this game so far i don't know what to do here and it's stressing me out game it feels like though because it's smaller parkour parkour
Yeah. I'm very attractive. Dark hall. Very important to note that I'm very attractive. Uh, Dark hall, I see it over there. In parkour civilization, nobody goes for the beef. Jim, do you take the beef or the chicken? I take the chicken. That's a silly question. Look at me. If I went the other way, it would be very strange. Oh, poor you. Feel like you're di I don't come into my chat right now with an in joke. And like, I don't understand what that's referencing. I'm assuming it's Minecraft considering it's you two. Is there some, is there some, is there some CD Minecraft thing that's going on about why chickens and beef is like cows are bad? Beef? Nats, do you get that reference? I do not. Isn't it Pop Team Epic? That's what I know it from. No idea. I'm going to send you something via Discord that you can watch if you have time and interest. Uh, sure. Is it Pop Team Epic? Okay, we're not going up there. Not going up there. enjoy this as a mechanic like this is very cinematic as he does this like like how good that's cool right that's i like that There was always some there was always some childish part of my brain that thought parkour was really cool but turns out you can't do it if you're you weigh 20 stone i'm large also i'm not athletic in the slightest uh hole in the wall hole in the wall hole in the wall no Hole in the wall. Yeah, there it is. I'm assuming through that hole. Realistically, though, realistically, it's a video game. Chicken is superior to beef. I don't get the reference, but I'll just say it. Chicken is superior to beef. You can eat a shit ton of chicken. If you eat a shit ton of beef, you get an upset tummy. It does come from Minecraft, but the meme has expanded since. It's not one I'm familiar with. Jericho is a boat. the boat what is that uh, 
I'm assuming I could have come in that way if I'd gone... No, not that way. Is the bridge not safe? Why is there a secondary route? Is the bridge gonna... I don't... Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, I'm having an early night. Enjoy the game, Jim. Don't make too many bad decisions. I almost fell to my death, but thank you and sweet dreams. I'm looking forward to you being back streaming tomorrow. Fine, we're fine. I was about to say we might get tetanus, but we're a robot, so tetanus isn't an issue. Where are we going right now? Other than up. I mean, he's, he's fine. Oh, I lost my sweet coat. I lost my sweet coat. I lost my sweet coat, chat. Time zones, happy Commander Duke. How's it going? We are... We're on a rusty ship. It's not too bad, though, because if we get... Like, if we get spiked by something rusty, we're a robot, so... We're not gonna... We're not gonna be in trouble. We're not gonna get locked or anything if we get rust in our... In our body. I hope you're well, Duke. This reminds me, there was that game, what was the game called with the boat and the the kids that kept dying? The Dark Anthology game with the boat in it. I'm doing better today than I have done in a while, so that's nice. That is nice. I'm exceedingly happy for you. Man of Medan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting Man of Medan right now. I hope there's not spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it. Completely unrelated game. Oh my fucking with the jump scares. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it was either it was either really bad timing or absolutely fantastic timing, because 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 we could have had we we could have we we could have had this. Please, please go. Ah! I will take no further questions. Hello? Spooky woman.
Is there a spooky robot woman in the house? I felt that in my spine. He's been put through the frickin... Like, the other ones have had it rough. This guy's been, like, in pieces in the last 24 hours. Hello. 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 Welcome to Jericho. That's the guy from the beginning of the game. Isn't it? Isn't that the guy that was on top of the building with Connor at the beginning of the game? I mean, there's going to be multiple models of the same. It's a silly question because there's going to be multiple models of the same robot. That one was fairly straightforward. Like we did a lot of progression in that in one sec in one section. I think it was, yeah. Like we're dealing with a couple of unique robots in this, but androids in this. But I'm assuming he's just the same model. Oh, oh no, game! I thought game was crashing then for a second. Chicken feed. Oh, hey, hey. Plastic with you? Hey, hey. How you doing, man? Yes, Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last year had to begin and set me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Resisting a wretch, breach of hygiene regulations. That's a really interesting bit of um, that's a really interesting bit of flavor text. <laughs> Unemployed, criminal, illegal gambling, fraud. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. <laughs> hey, you won't regret this. Up to go, bit is that that far fetched? I mean, this game was pre COVID, what is right? Your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened. And start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Pineapple passion. Why are we sc why are we scanning this stuff right now? What am I proving? Hamburger and pineapple passion. And we knew this. Oh, ah, oh. thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I would love to say I understand what's going on in hockey right now, but I don't. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, <laughs> but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. 
Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Enjoy your meal. <coughs> Thank you. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about defense. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. He's describing how people <laughs> react to things. Can I ask you a personal question, <laughs> Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I really want to know. Like, I'm going to ask him every chance. You ever dealt with deviants before? <laughs> a few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. There was that empty chair opposite his. Uh, truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I do love this actor. He's very good. Sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. He likes me. The music is getting annoying. I have no control over it. Void, were you not here for my rant at the beginning of this game? There is one audio slider. I can't turn the music off. The music, the hey, slider. Connor. It's got a, it's got a one right, slider batteries or what? volume. I'm That's sorry. it. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Question the suspect. What time are we on right now? Okay, we got What do we know about this guy? We got a little, little Not bit of time. much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Uh... Ops. Apparently hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Building has been inhabited by, by pigeons. Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Hello? Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. <laughs> Is 
that a lost reference? I'm pretty sure it's just a hexagon. Yeah, it's just hexagons, but lost? Anybody? Lost? Lost? Dharma Initiative? Lost? Red Ice Epidemic? The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit? We're just going to read a book whilst he's going through that other room. That's probably a bad idea. I'm not going to read this. We're just going to whiz through quick. Pretend that I'm, pretend that I'm getting knowledge. I, I don't know if I've read this already. Lost is freaking 20 years old this year. I like that show. I like that show. And I'm sad that it went the way it did. But I liked it. And I'm not ashamed to say. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. The deviants keeping pigeons, which kind of makes me like him. Um... Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's... Fields in the heart of Detroit. 265 Acre Avenue. the other ah 100 recycled paper recently moved the music is brian deshart clancy brown wait are you referencing something that i'm not getting you're just saying names to me right now gone Oh, Hank is played by Clancy Brown. The two actors in the scene, Connors and Otto Hanks. Oh, I like the old. I like the old dude. He's appeared in a bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm ninety five percent sure. I said when we started playing this that he was the Kurgan in the original. He also plays Mr. Krabs. Is he the Kurgan? Is he the Kurgan in Highlander? Like, original, original Highlander? Am I losing my mind? Yes. Like, how far? Oh god, that's only 2019. Okay, we're just going to scroll to the mid-90s. Bad boys. There he is, Kurgan. Yeah. Hi, Tempe. McLeod. The original Highlander is 40 years old next year. Are you just reading, like, do you have do you Drill Sergeant in Starship Troopers? My favorite. I, he, there is nothing. I have, like, there is a family appreciation. Like, the Chimkin family, the, my real family, all love the Highlander films. Nothing beats this man be other than being the Kurgan in my mind. And it's really stupid because he's it's it's like one of his original roles. I'm sure he's got on to do much better things since. But as the Kurgan, I just I it's 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 cool. Um, is this game scary? It has had some jump scares, but it's more sci fi than scary. It's androids and stuff. So if you're not bothered by like iRobot, you'll probably be fine. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Huh. Let's see what's in his fridge. Suspect doesn't eat. Maybe he eats pigeon. How many pigeons there on the floor? The guy was also in John Wick 4. Yeah, is the older dude. I have still, to this day, never watched a John Wick film. Suspect cares for wild animals. Maybe he's an android. I'm getting the impression he's an android.
Military jacket, secondhand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Driver's license, Rupert Travis. Rupert Travis. Driver's Audrey. license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Can't watch them because I love dogs too much. Yeah, no, Valen. I've just, it's never been, I i stopped buying films a long time ago and I've never had access to the John Wick films. I used to buy a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs and I, we don't really go to the cinema because of Dolly's health and how expensive it is. That so it's just, it's just never so. something I've ever seen. He's, he's writing yeah. RA9 like the last Deviant was. Either. Ages turn it. The deviant that killed himself in the police station was Any writing RA9 on things. RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? <coughs> Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Wooden stool recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. I'm pretty sure the air has traces of fe fe a bird, bird, bird poo right now. Let's not be out here pretending that we're not smelling it. Process still wet, used recently. Midnight mood black, opened marker pen, so we interrupted him. He's still in the house. I was in the kitchen heating up dinner, so I couldn't answer, but I love Crowdsea Band so much. Oh. Suspect ran to the living room. Suspect was here recently. <coughs> Is he in the wardrobe? Ew! That looks my. That looks like the sink in our house. It doesn't. Oh, don't Bird lick seed. it! Why does this man keep licking things? I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Bio component. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I thought your he's Mr. Krabs reaction in my soul. I was never a, we I I never watched SpongeBob as a child, wouldn't you, if you had a chemical analyzer in your mouth? I mean Find cause of loud noise. I'm pretty sure we found the cause of the loud noise. <coughs> uh, galvanized steel skid mark moved recently. Traces of avian fecal matter again. recently broke metal hook. <coughs> Suspect ran towards entrance. Suspect heard us enter. Why do we keep finding like, <laughs> this robot? Get, this guy keeps finding people in ceilings. Suspect is still here. Exposed suspect. He's in the roof. 
again. It was weird that it happened twice. Goddamn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Come back, you villain! I fucked it! Shit. Come on, Connor. Where do you fucking go? Where do you fucking go? Where... where'd it go? I lost it. Shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> shit! Fuck, we had it! All right. It's all right. Doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. I've seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. <coughs> Welcome to the club. Where did it... Did it... Did it did did it actively disappear in that orchard at the end, or was I just not seeing it? Rupert got away. Like, I think the way that I went, I ended up in a position that I was never gonna find him. Because I went that way, lose sight of Rupert. Okay, I never caught. I've never caught him. I feel like I really want to do that one again in particular. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. 
You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. I recognize her actress as well. Am I going to return to this tomorrow night because I'm coming up till my wrap up time? Good game. Good game, everybody. Good game. Good hustle. Uh, everybody hit the showers. North, that's Minka Kelly. I think that's her name. I recognize it. Let me let me do a Google real quick. Let me get the Google back up because the we keep running into these situations. I'm beginning to recognize actresses and actors in this game. Minka Kelly. Yeah, where, where have I seen you? Uh, Titans will have been where I saw them, probably. Yeah, fair enough. Human. Okay, everybody. It's time again for Bright Big Chimpkin to say goodbye. I love you all. I need to get my camera up. Big camera, please. Big camera. There we go. One last, one last. That's his third visit of the night. One last trip for George. Okay. What have I learned about my about myself, about the characters in this game? It's really good. I am so. I am. So, I, he so intensely watches that bottle. I am so out of sorts when it comes to quick time events on keyboard. This is such a janky. I feel like I'm really fucking up some of the quick time events, but I feel like it's adding to my experience somewhat. I wish there was like warm ups. You just dropped that on the floor. You did. Oh, it's all wet. It's all wet. Um, yeah, I'm taking screenshots constantly, so I can't use an Xbox controller on this game because one of one other complaint that I have, other than the fact that it's got one audio slider in it, is that if I use any other of my peripherals, it gets confused between the two. Um, so I can't press my screenshot button and be using my Xbox controller, which is a little bit infuriating, but I'm sort of getting used to it. And like I said, I feel like that the fact that I'm not absolutely nailing every quick time event, not that I would nail every single one anyway, because I'm some sort of amazing gamer, but it, it adds to, I think it adds to my experience somewhat. So we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to continue to use the old mouse and keyboard. So, um... What do I usually do at this bit? I need to remind myself. Chat, I want you to know that I'm glad you exist. Thank you for joining me for Dr Detroit Become Human so far. Obviously, I will be continuing this game. And at the rate we're going, I will be continuing it till the end. I'm having a lot of fun. Get down. Get down. Do not try and sit there right now. Get down. All the way down. Go on. I love you. Glad you enjoy it. I will be back tomorrow at the usual time of 9 p.m. UTC for another two hours of this game. I feel like it's pretty good. I, I I'm enjoying it like I enjoy a television a television show. Like I'm not I'm not out here to binge the entire thing in one sitting. I do binge TV shows, but um, I'm enjoying it in the format that we're currently playing it. So we'll be back tomorrow, Fridays, Mondays, and Tuesdays until we're done. I have other games to play after that, so we're all prepared. But Fridays, Mondays, and Tuesdays till we're done. 9 p.m. UTC tomorrow. Um, chat, I'm glad you exist. Thank you for all of the engagement. Thank you for being here whilst I'm playing this game. I know there's a lot of talking and sometimes I don't get to say much and like the fact that you still come back and hang out is, I really appreciate it. Um, at the beginning of my streams, I ask if you've achieved anything recently. So at the end of my streams, I like to say something different. I like to say that I'm super proud of you for existing. If you look in the press right now or generally west you know what i'm talking about um shit's going down the world is on fire something 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 um 
there is no bet there is no more there is no better time for me to say this to you the fact that you are getting the fact you might not even be getting out of bed every day but the fact that you are still going regardless of everything that you're reading and are experiencing and the shit that's going my world's on fire i'm trying not to break into song sky by saying that i'm trying not to break into song um there's a song in there somewhere i i'm really proud of you for keeping on going i'm really proud of you for being here our community is accessible regardless of all the shit that's going on on the planet do you even know the I make foolish people do I never dreamed that I love somebody like you and I never want to fall in love somebody fall in love that song fired I mean I don't know the lyrics hey considering I don't know the lyrics I think that that was pretty a pretty good rendition of that thank you very much Oh my god. I would I would clap for you, San, but you'd get jealous. Uh, national anthem. Um the water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire. You're singing, do not come in my chat, and quote Smash Mouth. My world's on fire. How about yours? They never like you. Never get bored. Hey, now, you're a rock star. Get to game on. Go play. I, I see. I knew the fucking... <laughs> do not come in here and start quoting Smash Mouth. Because you know what? Isn't the guy from Smash Mouth a bit of a cunt? <laughs> Wasn't that a thing that came out in the press recently? Um, no, wasn't he? He's dead. Was that the thing that was announced in the news? I thought that there was something. Okay, either way. I take it back if he wasn't, but I feel like I read something that he, yeah, either way. Um... Ooh, Matthew Kelly, not Matthew Kelly. Like, let me Google something real quick. I feel like this is, like, I feel I feel like I need vindication. Um, lead singer, Smash Mouth drama. Uh, Yeah, Smash Mouth, this is probably what I remember. Smash Mouth lead singer Steve Harwell was filmed on tape threatening a fan at a recent concert before announcing retirement. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Either way. Um, I'm not Guy Fieri. Rip Matthew Kelly, gone too soon. Do not start with me right now. Um, chat, I'm really proud of you. I think it's, uh, I think it's since he's died. Oh, requirement to Flavor Town Radio. Oh, jeez. The mods are circling, chat. The mods are circling. Um, I'm really proud of you for existing. There are a few things I need to remind you about said existence. You do not have to watch my content. You do not have to be in chat. You do not have to lurk in chat, though lurking is always appreciated. What I want you to do is use all of the energy that you've got, be that a small or a large amount. Concentrate on living, and if my content can make that existence that little bit easier, that is the niche that I am attempting to fill on the internet. We also, at this point, the cat is back again. I'm not falling for this. You were literally just here. Um, <laughs> hey. um, we also say fuck cancer. Me and my partner Dolly Whiskers lost somebody very important to us at the end of 2023 to cancer. So at the end of my streams in 2024, it is a ritual that we are doing. If you would like to type fuck cancer in chat, you will not be penalized by the auto mod in any way whatsoever. Um, it helps me remember them in a slightly positive sense because when I think about the grief that I experienced surrounding that as an issue, um, I think about you guys, honestly, and I will never stop thanking you for the fact that you've made that process that little bit easier for me. Um, and thank you for helping me do weird shit on the internet. What's happening? Me? 
Did he have three or four? That's the fourth. Okay. One last time. One last time. For all the marbles. See, I'm I'm a I'm a freaking what's the word? I'm a soft touch. He's 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 got this down to an art. The fact yeah. Yeah. If you can tell me anybody you would like me to raid, please let me know. Uh but otherwise, when I fed him these last two treats, we'll find somebody to raid. Very nice. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and teach this cat to ring a bell again. Somebody said I need to do I think Jura said at the beginning of stream that I need to teach George a new trick. I think it might be the bell again. Dolly, prepare yourself. Hey. Anybody else hear chickens or am I losing my mind? Um. Yeah, I'll be thankful for the hydrate. Where am I raiding right now? Anybody exciting? Not really anybody jumping. I'm going to raid... I'm going to raid the Lucanella, who is live at this very moment. Go drop them some love. If you're subscribed, drop a raid emote on arrival. If you are unsubscribed, there are some raid messages in chat you might like to use. The cat is going to get down from the desk. Do not walk around in circles. Oh my goodness. Do not... Okay. He's... What is happening right now? I'm going to make you into a coat. Um, I wouldn't actually make him into a coat, I promise. I love him too much. Uh, following. Stop looking at that microphone. I see exactly what you're doing right now. Do not start with me, cat. I will fight you. Uh, oh my god, he's now sat on my mouse. Okay, Nelly is playing Ori and the Willow of the Wi- The Ori- Sorry, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I will be back at 9pm UTC tomorrow for more robot shenanigans. I hope you have an absolutely brilliant Tuesday. Please take care of yourselves. Please drink plenty of water. Please hug your loved ones. Sniff your beloved animals. And I'll see you around. Take care of yourselves.